home of the ancient pharaohs. Egypt is a dazzling destination of temples and tombs that wow all who visit. It's not all historic treasures, though. With vast tracts of desert, superb scuba diving, and the famed Nile River, there's something for everyone here. Welcome to the Globetrotter, where today, we'll be looking over some of the must-see locations during your visit to the ancient lands of Egypt. Before we get started with today's video, be sure to subscribe to the channel in order to stay tuned for even more content down the road. Number 10. Abu Simbel The most magnificent of the monuments Ramses II built, Abu Simbel is both the perfect example of the ambition of this pharaoh's reign and also a model illustration for modern engineering. The entire temple was transplanted from its original location and lifted piece by piece to its current site by an international UNESCO team working against the clock to preserve it from being flooded by the Aswan High Dam in the 1960s. The colossal stone statues that grace the facade are Pharaoh's Ramses II's attempt to achieve immortality. It has worked. Today, visitors here still crane their necks in disbelief at the behemoth temples just as the pharaoh's subjects would have done when the temples were first raised. Abu Simbel is 280 kilometers south of Aswan. Most people visit on a day trip from Aswan, although it is possible to stay the night in Abu Simbel village. Number 9. Thistle Gorm Dive Site Below the Red Sea's surface is another world as fascinating as the temples and tombs on land. Among the many coral reefs off the coast, there's also a glut of shipwrecks that have sunk in the Red Sea's Gulf of Gubal and Gulf of Aqaba. Of all the wrecks, the most famous is the Thistle Gorm, an English World War II cargo ship that was on its way to resupply British troops when it was bombed by the Germans in 1941. Today, the site is regarded by divers as one of the top five wreck dives in the world due to the vast cargo of cars, motorbikes, and World War II memorabilia that can be seen both scattered on the seabed around the wreck and inside the ship itself. Dive boat trips to the wreck are organized from both Sharm El Sheikh and Hergada. Number 8. Zamalek District, Cairo The Nile island of Gezira is home to the district of Zamalek and the majority of Cairo's arty boutiques and hipster restaurants. Dating from the mid-19th century, the entire area has a distinctly European feel to its architecture, with wide boulevards rimmed by jacaranda trees and splendidly ornate Belle Epoque mansions, most of which are now occupied by a various number of embassies. Zamalek is Cairo's top dining destination, but the southern tip of Gezira also has a clutch of art galleries to explore. The Palace of Arts is housed in the Nile Grand Hall on the former Gezira Fairgrounds and features a schedule of rotating exhibitions in its galleries. Nearby is the Museum of Modern Egyptian Art, which has a fine collection of 20th century Egyptian art, including works by Mahmoud Said and Mahmoud Mukhtar. Much of the southern section of Gezira is taken up by the exclusive tennis courts and riding stables of the Gezira Sports Club. But towering above all the lush greenery is the 187-meter-high Cairo Tower, built in 1961 by President Nasser. A trip up the observation deck at sunset to see dusk settle over the city is a must. Number 7. Alexandria Alexander the Great founded it, while Queen Cleopatra commanded over it. The city of Alexandria's birth and early history is a calling card of famous names. This was the Mediterranean's dazzling jewel of a city, home to the Great Library of Alexandria and the colossal Pharos Lighthouse, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. In more recent times, from the late 19th century up until the 1950s, Alexandria was something of a bohemian bad boy. Cultivating a growing group of writers, poets and artists who carved their own slice of history into the city's streets. More than any other large city in Egypt, Alexandria has a romantic days gone by atmosphere that can't be beaten and that history lovers shouldn't miss. Easily the most European of all Egyptian cities, Alexandria has a lineage that not many others can match. Although today, there are few historic remnants of its illustrious past. Faded in songs and books, this is a place made for aimless strolling along the seashore corniche, cafe hopping and souk shopping. Number 6. Nile Cruising Egypt is defined by the Nile. For many visitors, a multi-day cruise upon this famed waterway that saw the rise of the pharaonic era is a highlight of their Egypt trip. Cruising the Nile is also the most relaxing way to see the temples that stud the banks of the rivers on the route between Luxor and Aswan, plus sunrise and sunset over the date palm-studded riverbanks backed by sand dunes is one of Egypt's most tranquil vistas. 
The two famous sites on a Nile cruise are the Temple of Kam Ombo and Edfu's Temple of Horus, where all the big cruise boats stop. If you'd prefer a less crowded and slower experience though, and don't mind roughing it a bit, you can also cruise the Nile by Felucca or Egypt's traditional latine sailed wooden boats, which gives you the freedom to craft your own itinerary. Cruise boats depart from both Luxor and Aswan, but Felucas can only be chartered for multi-day trips from Aswan. Number 5. St. Catherine's Monastery The isolated hermitage of St. Catherine's Monastery sits snug between the craggy peaks of the Sinai High Mountain Range. One of the world's oldest working monasteries, St. Catherine's has been a vortex for both pilgrims and adventurous travelers for centuries. Its fame and mystique comes from its location at the foot of Mount Sinai, the site of the Old Testament story of the Ten Commandments, and so is revered by Christians, Jews, and Muslims alike. The monastery is also home to the Burning Bush and one of the most renowned collections of religious icons in the world, a selection of which is on display to visitors in the Sacred Sacristy Monastery Museum. Today, travelers and pilgrims alike are still drawn here to both visit the monastery and hike to the summit of Mount Sinai. St. Catherine's Monastery sits a few kilometers away from the small settlement of Al Milga, which has a couple of hotels and budget hostels, as well as some simple restaurants. But most people arrive as part of an organized tour from the South Sinai Resorts of Sharm El Sheikh, 209 kilometers to the southeast, or Dahab, which is only 132 kilometers east. Number 4. Abydos Temple Dusty Abydos Town wouldn't make much of a rating on the tourism radar if it wasn't for the incredible temple on its doorstep. Abydos's Temple of Osiris is one of ancient Egypt's most fascinating artistic treasures. Its chunky columns and walls, covered in beautiful hieroglyphics and intricate paintings, are spellbinding sites. The temple once stood as the epicenter of the cult worship of Osiris. Seti I raised the glorious temple here, dedicated to the Egyptian god. Abydos became ancient Egypt's most important burial center, and the temple, the unique and beautiful central point of the necropolis. Abydos is much less visited than other Nile temples, allowing you to avoid large crowds of fellow tourists. But for travelers who are interested in the pharaonic era's artistry, the vibrantly colored wall and ceiling paintings, as well as the sculpted column work of the Temple of Seti I, are a highlight of a Nile journey and shouldn't be missed. The town of Abydos is located 162 kilometers north of Luxor, giving you easy access to make a day trip from the city to the temple. Number 3. South Sinai Egypt's center for beach fun is the South Sinai region on the Sinai Peninsula. Sharm El Sheikh is a European-style resort full of luxury hotels, international restaurants, and bags of entertainment options. Dahab is a low-key beach town with a budget traveler heart, which is just as much about desert excursions and adventures as the sea. Up the coast, between the port town of Nueva and the border town of Taba, are the bamboo hut retreats that offer complete getaway from it all respites from life. Wherever you choose, the South Sinai is all about diving. The Red Sea is one of the top diving destinations in the world, and the South Sinai region is home to most of the best dive sites. Number 2. Aswan Spread out along the banks of the Nile, Aswan is a relaxed and friendly town that provides a tranquil interlude if you've just arrived from busier Luxor or Cairo. Once known as Ancient Egypt's Gateway to Africa, this is a perfect base for exploring the temples, monuments, and other tourist attractions in the southern reaches of Upper Egypt and the area's distinctly different Nubian culture. Many of these can be done on day trips from Aswan. The best way to discover Aswan's charms is to hop aboard a traditional felucca and view the town from the watery highway that once made Aswan an important trading post. The river here is speckled with islands, holding picturesque mud brick Nubian villages and hemmed by the West Bank's colossal sand dunes. It's all incredibly photogenic, particularly at sunset, when hundreds of latine sailed feluccas take to the water and the river shimmers in the setting sun. Number 1. Luxor's Karnak Temple and the Valley of the Kings Famed for the Valley of the Kings, Karnak Temple, and the Memorial Temple of Hatshepsut, the Nile side town of Luxor in Upper Egypt has a glut of tourist attractions. This is ancient Thebes, power base of the New Kingdom pharaohs, and home to more sites than most can see on one visit. While the East Bank brims with vibrant souk action, the quieter West Bank is home to a bundle of tombs and temples that has been called the biggest open-air museum in the world. A trip to the Valley of the Kings is a highlight of any Egypt trip, but can be demanding due to the stifling heat and swarms of visitors. It's important to note that tombs open and close to the public in rotation in an attempt to help preserve the wall paintings, which have suffered severe degradation from the humidity caused by so many visitors. So keep this in mind while planning out your days while visiting the sites. 
Spend a few days here exploring the colorful wall art of the tombs and gazing in awe at the colossal columns in the temples, and you'll see why Luxor continues to fascinate historians, archaeologists, and travelers alike. We hope you enjoyed some of these destinations that you can expect while visiting the ancient country of Egypt. How is our list? Have any recommendations or destinations you'd prefer to have seen? Let us know down in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button in order to know when new videos and lists come out.